Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So for those of you that don't know, there is a big, big moment in The Walking Dead Season 9 that is about to happen. It's a big moment in the comics, and it's one of those things that's definitely going to happen in the show. Sometimes the show remixes things from the comics. Not everything that happens in the comics happens in the show, but this is one of those things that's definitely going to happen. It's not a spoiler. It's it's already been pretty much revealed in, in episode titles and, and, and plot synopsis, which are an officially revealed thing. It's not a spoiler leak or anything. But it's this big thing that's going to be happening in episode 15 of this season where the Whispers, well, there's the fair. The fair is happening in episode 15. And the Whispers, they sneak in and, and they lure away a bunch of characters and um, cut their heads off. In the comics, it's 12 characters. The biggest, the biggest ones are Ezekiel and Rosita. And then the rest of them are mostly minor characters. There are some that they're definitely going to have to remix, like Olivia and one of the Carsons, because both Carsons and Olivia are dead. So it's it's going to be a remix, but I, it could be 12 characters, because there's enough characters for it to be 12 deaths. A lot of people are thinking it'll be Rosita and Ezekiel. Those will be two of them, like the comics. Those are the two biggest ones in the comics. It'll be the two biggest ones in the show. Ezekiel and Rosita are both in love, and they're happy right now. That tends to get you killed. And it seems like Rosita and, and, and Ezekiel, they've both been developed enough. That, like, their story arcs are over. And it's possible. It could very well be Ezekiel and Rosita. In fact, I, I think it's very likely. It's It's starting to really look like... Rosita and Ezekiel will die in episode 15 of season 9, as well as obviously a lot of other characters. A lot of people are saying it'll be Tammy Rose. A lot of people are, are thinking that it'll be Jerry. Who else do we have? Tara. Um, Luke. Luke's a big one. Alden. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of characters that could end up getting killed, and there's a lot of fans that are having theories on who it'll be, who it won't be. Now, uh, one character that a lot of fans think will be one of the heads on Spikes, that's what they're called, heads on Spikes, for those of you that don't know, but a lot of people are thinking that Gabriel will be one of the ones that die. Gabriel will be one of the heads on Spikes. Now, I don't blame anyone for thinking that, but in my honest opinion, I think Gabriel is pretty safe for Season 9. He could end up getting killed in Season 10 or Season 11, but I would say that's much much more likely than season nine because Gabriel just isn't really he's just I don't I don't I don't like it for him I don't I don't like Gabriel as one of the heads on spikes if Rosita is going to be um, one of the ones that's that gets killed then you know I like the idea of Gabriel being just devastated you know it's not all about killing the characters Another thing that, that really matters in the story is is the ones that don't die and their reactions to it. I mean, there's a good chance that most of the characters that survive this episode, this bloodbath of an episode, are going to be devastated. They're going to lose someone that they cared about, someone that they loved, you know? I mean, with that many deaths, more than likely, almost every character is going to be affected by someone that died, if not more than someone. So I like the idea of, you know, if, the, if they are going to follow the comics with Rosita and give Rosita that death, I like the idea of Gabriel being alive to, to be devastated by that, to, to be heartbroken and, and emotionally destroyed by that. I think it would be really good character development for Gabriel and Seth Gilliam, the actor that plays Gabriel, he's an extremely talented, very capable actor. I've loved the guy since I saw him on The Wire. He's a very good actor. I think he should. I, I think he should get a chance to, you know, survive this and 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 play Gabriel, you know, with Gabriel witnessing Rosita's head on the spike and and Gabriel just dropping to the ground and in tears. I mean, Rosita was in love with him. She chose him. You know, Sadiq liked Rosita. Eugene liked Rosita. And who did Rosita choose? She chose Gabriel. Rosita loved Gabriel. And there's a couple of moments where Gabriel was kind of cold to Rosita. He would feel guilty about that. And, and Rosita was in love with Gabriel and she was pregnant. And she wanted to have this child with Gabriel. You know, even though the, the, the child was biologically Sadiq's, R Rosita wanted to raise the child with Gabriel. You know, and just imagine how crushing that would be. And he, he, doesn't, he doesn't know how much, how much pain she was in, how much she suffered. He didn't watch her die. 
it just all of a sudden she's gone. She's just walk her head, staring at Gabriel, growling at him. I mean, could you just imagine that? Damn. Could you just imagine that? I mean, that just seems like such a dark, devastating, sad, tragic, emotional scene for Gabriel. I really wouldn't want him to just be a head beside her head. I want Gabriel to survive it. And if they follow the comics, Gabriel does survive the heads on spikes, and he dies during the Whisperer War, which will take place in Season 10. And that's another thing. If, I mean, Gabriel's, Gabriel's in the Whisperer War in the comics. That would, I mean, if, if Rosita's one of the heads on spikes in the show, I mean, that gives Gabriel a huge reason to be in the Whisperer War, you know? I mean, he's gonna, uh, you know, at first he's gonna be sad and heartbroken and destroyed, but eventually he, he might... He might just focus on anger and rage and and want revenge and and, and fight during the Whisperer War. Like just, I just think that there's so much character development with Gabriel. If if Rosita is one of the heads on spikes, now I I love Rosita. You know I love Rosita. But if 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 they do decide to kill her and have her be one of the heads on spikes, I think it makes much more sense for Gabriel to survive rather than be one of the heads along with her. I think it there's just so much character development that you could give to Gabriel. I mean, at first he's obviously destroyed and then he he's angry and he and he he becomes a soldier during the Whisperer War because in the comics what they what they do is they they like train an, an army, like they they develop they develop a military to fight against the Whisperers. And this is in response to the Heads on Spikes. This is a few issues after the Heads on Spikes. They decide to um, have a military, you know, and and all these characters get together and they become soldiers and they train and they fight against the Whisperers during the Whisperer War. So I think Gabriel would immediately do that. That would give Gabriel something to focus on, you know, wanting revenge. And maybe he, he really begins to struggle with his faith in God. That's another thing. What if his faith in God starts to get shaken up really bad? What if he, he no longer believes in, in God anymore because the woman that he loved was killed while she was pregnant and, and he just doesn't see reason anymore and he, he's just not the same man anymore? That would be really interesting. Now, as far as Season 10 and Season 11 goes, yeah, there's a chance that Gabriel could die in one of those. Yeah, and, you know, he could die in Season 10. If they follow the comics, Gabriel will die in Season 10. Um, he, in the comics, he, he falls off a ladder and rips his leg open really, really badly, and Beta walks up to him and disembowels him. It, it's kind of a lame death. And Gabriel's kind of a lame character in the comics. In the comics, he's really just kind of a coward and a, and a bitch, and he 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 really just doesn't do very much. He tries to be tough and he tries to be a soldier, and then he just instantly gets killed, and that's it. It's kind of hilarious and pointless. Like that's that's his character basically in the comics. He's just hilarious and pointless. And he once the one time he tries to do something important, he just instantly gets killed. Like it's almost funny. <laughs> um, it's it's brutal and it's violent and it's it's a cool moment in the comics. And that's one of the reasons why I kind of just let it slide, even though it's just it's just awkwardly pointless. But it's it's a cool violent death and it's befitting of of his character in the comics. But in the show, he's a much better character. He's a, he's a much more um, developed, likable character. And uh, it, they can give that death to him, especially because, you know, it is sort of like Glenn's death in the comics. It's so violent and disturbing that you, you almost want it to happen just because you're fascinated in that actor's portrayal of it. You know, there's that small part of you that you, you, you might not have wanted Glenn to get his comic death. He might not want him getting his head bashed in by Negan and his eye popping out. But then there's that, that, that small part of you that's sort of fascinated in what if? You know, what if Steven Yawn has to do that, you know? You know, what if Steven Yawn has to act out that death? I think it's the same for Gabriel. You might not want Gabriel to get his comic death, but, you know, what, imagine Seth, Seth Gilliam acting that out, you know? There's that part of you that's kind of fascinated with it. And it doesn't have to be exactly the same. It doesn't have to be as pitiful. Like he goes out somehow shooting a bunch of whispers first. He, you know, he gets some revenge. He kills a bunch of whispers, and then Beta disembowels him, or something like that. It, it, maybe he doesn't even have to fall off a tower. Um, you know, they can they can change it up a little bit. 
you know, or they can, they can kill him in season 10 and, and give him a completely different death, you know? Just because they don't give him his comic death doesn't mean that he won't die in season 10. I mean, Abraham didn't get his comic death, and he didn't live very long, very much longer anyway. So, yeah, Gabriel could die in season 10, Gabriel could die in season 11, but season 9, I don't like him for it. I don't like him for the heads on spikes. I think it's too soon. I think that, that Gabriel, his story is not over yet. He still has a lot more character development. If he doesn't have a lot more character development right now, he will if he survives the heads on spikes and Rosita doesn't. Like I said, just imagine that. Just imagine how that affects him and how that changes him. And another thing is, I don't know. I mean, with, with characters like, like Rick and, and Maggie leaving and Jesus being dead and Carl being dead and Michonne's going to leave in season 10... I feel like, yeah, I, you know, that maybe they should keep Gabriel a little bit longer. You know, they they went, it just seemed like they went out of their way to make Gabriel a big deal in the TV show. You know, they wasted Abraham and Tyrese without a second's thought, but they really went out of their way to, to, to really have Gabriel be the slow burn of a character, this this absolute coward that, that slowly starts to develop and, and see the error of his ways and his... And as someone that's there to support Rick and support Rosita during season seven and, and develops and becomes a, a good person and a soldier. And, and now in season nine, he's this he's this member of the council, you know. So I think that they've they've done so much with the character and they've 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 gone through so much trouble with the character that I think they should I think they should keep him alive at least until season ten. I think he should at least make it until season ten. Because He's one of the longest characters at this point. He he's one of the longest lasting characters on the show, and I don't. I, I think they should keep him around a little bit. I I like him as one of those constants. Now Ronnie Hayes at Make a Path presents. He wants Gabriel. I think he wants Gabriel to like stay on the show forever. I don't know if they're going to do that, but I'm not against it. Like I get it. I, I get the. I get how Gabriel could be one of those constants. I mean, I'm a big fan of Seth Seth Gilliam, and I'll support him. You know, um, so if they do keep Gabriel on the show forever, that's fine. I, I don't mind him being one of those constants like Daryl or Carol or something like that. But for me, the biggest thing is just don't kill him off in season 9. You know, if, if you kill him off in season 10 or season 11, if it's done well, that can work. You know, that can be okay. You know, overall, he, he would have still had a good run. But he, the thing with the council is, I just think he, he's needed in the council. You know, like, I think his role in the council as as the guy that's kind of like the voice of reason and, and someone that, that sort of, that, that, that you know, he'll he'll talk to Michonne about things and debate with Michonne and, and debate with Sadiq and, and debate with Laura. I think, I think Gabriel's a key member in the council and he's too important of a member of the council for him to just be wasted immediately. I mean, we've, we've barely had this council. I think, you know, I think, you know, the council's kind of cool. And and it, it it should stick around for at least season ten, maybe one of the members of the council will get killed, but like Laura or Sadiq, like not Gabriel. I think Gabriel's too key. Gabriel's too important in the council to kill off. And another thing about Gabriel is that he has a lot of key relationships right now. Like he has a lot of key dynamics. He has he has an important dynamic with Eugene. He has an important dynamic with Negan. I mean, some people forget. You know, Gabriel has a, a close sort of love-hate dynamic with, with Negan and Eugene, you know. Um, and we know that Eugene and Negan are going to survive the heads on spikes. I mean, come on, we know. We know that Eugene and Negan are going to make it to Season 10. So I think it'd be cool to keep Gabriel around because Gabriel has that established relationships with that established dynamic and relationship with Negan and Eugene and that's something that can carry on into season 10 you know maybe season 11 and at the end of the day with Gabriel he's not one of my favorite characters he's not in my top 10 favorite characters or anything I don't think he ever will be I just I'm, I'm not that crazy about him I don't hate him I don't love him he's just kind of okay but as far as his role in the story goes I, I think he should stick around like I said, at least season 10 or season 11. I, I do love Seth Gilliam, the actor, and I do think that, that his story is not... Gabriel's story is not over yet, and he should at least, at least survive season 9. If he gets killed in, like, the back half of season 10 
it can work if it's done right, you know, season 11, you know, maybe somewhere along those lines, but as far as season 9 goes, not only am I completely against his death in season 9, but I don't think it will happen. I think there's, there's a very, very good, very strong chance, like a 95, 98% chance that Gabriel will be surviving season 9 of The Walking Dead. Anyway, that's all I have for this video, so with all that said, don't be shy, hit that like and subscribe, I'm not going anywhere, I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 416 subscribers, my goal is to try to get to 500 in the next few months, so just remember, every subscriber counts, every bit of support matters, and is very, very appreciated, hopefully we can get to that goal of 500. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye!